Hey guys, Shane Storms with DrawerMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install AOKP on your Verizon Galaxy S4. Now this will also work on all variants of the S4. Just be sure that you do grab the correct files. On the Verizon Galaxy S4, you need to be low-key hacked. Um, if you've bought your Galaxy S4 in any recent, uh, within the last several months, you won't be able to do this at all because the very first update Verizon sent out blocked the Loki hack so you still need to be Loki hacked you need to have a custom recovery installed other than safe strap this ROM is not going to work on safe strap because it is AOSP and so far we only have TouchWiz ROMs working on safe strap that being said we'll go ahead and get started so the first thing you want to do is head to AOKP.co and you'll want to grab the ROM for your device once you've done that we'll reboot into recovery okay so for the S4 we're gonna go volume up home and power Release the power button when you see the writing in the top left hand corner and that will bring you into Team Win Recovery Project or Clockwork Mod Recovery, whichever version you're running. Go to the install and to your download folder just to make sure that you have the right files. So we're looking for the AOKP and the latest version is the March 10th version. That's the one that I installed. So make sure that you have your files. Once you've made sure that you have all the correct files, we're going to wipe. Okay, so we'll select wipe. And we're wiping data. Cache and Dalva cache, swipe to wipe. We'll go back, install, and make sure you grab the ROM. Can add another zip we'll go ahead and add the G apps make sure that you have both the ROM and the G apps and then we'll swipe to flash give this a few minutes to install and then we'll reboot the device okay so when it's all finished you'll see successful and then we can reboot the system okay if all went well you should see the stock Nexus boot animation okay and then you'll be presented with the welcome screen Okay, on first boot, you see that you have a couple of different options here. You can choose the Google Now Launcher or Launcher 3. I'm just going to go with Launcher 3, and we'll select Always. Okay, so this gives you kind of like the Nexus KitKat Launcher experience. And real quickly, we'll go into Settings, and I will have a full review of this ROM later in the week. Going to settings about phone, and you'll see that we are running Android 4.4.2. That's the latest version of KitKat, and then we're running the latest nightly, the March 10th nightly. So if we go into Android version 4.2, you get the KitKat Easter egg. And then if we go into AOKP, you get the AOKP Easter egg. Okay, guys, you can see that it's fast and smooth, a whole lot faster than TouchWiz. And, like I said, I will have the full review of this ROM coming up later in the week or maybe early next week. Anyways, guys, that has been my quick install guide for how to install AOKP on the Verizon Galaxy S4. Like I said, it works on all other variants as well as long as you have an unlocked bootloader and a custom recovery installed. Thanks, guys, for watching. You can find more of me at DrawerMotorX.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Once again, thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.